Slow play the ball. Is this time number 11, Connor Halliday. Goes on that left-hand channel. They go blind this time, Avon. He's a lock on there. And he's straight into the hands of Matty G. And Matty G looking to break through. Great first opportunity here. Five fast to attack the white Avon line. Here's Murray. Spins out the tackle, but he's put down by three Avon men. 15 metres out from the line. Moore finds Keys. Keys out the back to Jufre. Jufre further on to Burnall. On to Tiz. What is in motion? On to Walsley. Walsley, the next Avon man. He's over. An acrobatic finish. What a try from Lachlan Walsley. He just can't stop scoring. That's his 17th try of the season for the Flying Scotsman. The ex White Avon man putting a dagger in the heart of his old team. And I've just after three minutes here at the Shea, Halifax a 4 0 up with a kick to come. Brilliant. Movement right to left from Halifax. Key strikes it well, straight through the post. What a kick, and you can hear the crowd telling you that Joe Keyes is off the mark with the boot, kicking his 34th goal of the season. 35 metres from White Haven's line. Here's Keyes. Finds Jufre, Jufre, one ball to Matty G. And G taken down by Bishop and Holiday on that left hand side. On the White Haven 20. Jufre goes straight himself and dummy half. Finds Calcott onto Keys. Bit of an overlap here for Halifax if Keys can use it, but he dribbles through. Looking for Walsley. Walsley takes the ball and he's in. Just about. For his 18th try of the season. Once more against his former club. And after 11 minutes here, Halifax go 10 0 up. Keyes making the most of the opportunity there. They had the overlap, it had gone. But Walmsley stuck on his outside and he just dribbled the kick through. The, bass, the, the bounce was perfect. And Walmsley just put it down before going dead. Halifax uh, could well be on a point in a minute if Keyes lands this conversion. He strikes it well once again. Straight through the post, you can hear the Keyes chant all around this ground. And he makes it a point a minute here with 12 points and hill to the Panthers to his own 30 metre line. Moore goes blind onto Jufre. Jufre steps inside, looking for runners onto Calcott. Calcott breaks through. He's still going well, Calcott. Gets his arm three, but this time keeps hold. Moore goes right to Jufre. Jufre goes himself, going through a massive gap, and Jufre's away. Long ball out to Jay Sortenstall, and Sortenstall will dive acrobatically in the corner. And on his return to the side, Hometown boy James Saltonstall is back in the team and back in the scoring. He's into double digits for his 10th try of the season. As the South Stand raw the approval of that movement, Louis Dufre just ghosted through a gap in his former club's defence. He had lots of options on the inside, but he lofted the ball out to the corner. And James Saltonstall says to Lachlan Warns, anything you can do in terms of acrobatic finishes, so can I. As Halifax dominating this first, this first quarter. Rock goes towards the, towards the touchline and it has gone straight out well. From my first reaction, it looked like in made the field of play, but the, the touch judge a lot closer than me. 10 metres out from the Avon line. Moore looks left and right as the White Avon slowly play the ball down and Fax has six again. Great opportunity here, Keys. Still going, goes short to Kavanagh. Ben Kavanagh looking to go over, but it's a great tackle there by the covering Haven defence. 
Loose pass from Tibbs, goes straight through the hands of Murray. Luckily it's gone backwards as Moore goes across field. Brings on Matty G in fact, so reset. 10 metres out, centre field from the Avon line. Here's Fairbank, short ball to Murray. Murray looking for his first try of the season. He stopped just short. Here goes Moore over the line, but he's held up. Looking for yet another badge over try from Dummy Half, the captain. Here's Keys on to Jufre. Jufre, short ball to Matty G through the gap. Matty G going offload to Woodburnall. Woodburnall stepping the fullback. Tried off the offload, back off here. And Haven has knocked on there. He's giving it backwards. And that's really unlucky there, Woodburnall. Off the offload, but he bounced off the head, he looked like. Of DNA. Last tackle here for Haven. As we go towards Halifax 20, here's Duran. Grubbers it through, looking for the chase of Eccleston, but the ball goes dead. There's a seven tackle set here for Halifax. He escaped that with a decent kick from Duran, only just bounced out. Assault and stall, finds Keys, lovely play here, and Ben Tibbs is away. Ben Tibbs needs to pin his ear back, he's away. Onto Woodburn Hall, and Woodburn Hall drops the ball. With the try line begging. And Halifax could be 30 up here at this rate. Moore goes blind. Short ball to Kavanagh. Kavanagh loses the ball under pressure from the Whitehaven defence. As Rourke looks to counter attack here. Makes a half break. He makes a full break. Great run there from Rourke. And Rourke's away. Rourke streaking away. Can he get there? He's a brilliant cover tackle from Woodburn Hall. But Haven have got loads of men here. As 26, Oscar Durand goes over the line, but he's going to be held up. As Halifax survived that break. Here's Keys. On to Doro. Good run from Doro. Gets the offload to Brandon Moore. Brandon Moore on to Tangata. Tangata takes a tackle. As Jacob Fairback comes off the field. And Dan Fleming, number 29, who gets the ball now. On for his second debut. Good run forward from Fleming. Back at his hometown team. Moore jumps out of dummy half, runs across the field, finds Doro. Doro steps back inside. Takes his tackle, 30 from the Whitehaven line. Moore goes right to Jufre. Jufre out of the back to Woodburnall, through a massive gap, Woodburnall. He's still going, Woodburnall, and this time he scores. It just had to come. And James Woodburnall. Whether he's playing six or one, he still goes over for four. And with five minutes left to go in this first half, James Woodburn all scores his fifth try of the season and puts Halifax 20 points to nil up. Here's the last tackle onto Keys and Keys. We'll put it high towards the corner, looking for Wolves to challenge. It's a one-on-one -on -one take. It goes forward, off Whitehaven, taken by Doro. It's back to one, and Doro has got a gap here. Just go for it, but he just seemed that he had a massive gap and just ran towards contact there, Reba Doro. Ballyfax has six more tackles here on Whitehaven's line. On to Fleming. How he'd love a try on his return. He's still going. He's just taken down, just short of the line. More. On to two for Halifax, they've got men over here, Woodburn all, dummies, he's over, James Woodburn all, scores his second try in as many minutes. As Halifax, uh, look to cut loose here. As Woodburn all gets his sixth try of the season. And puts Halifax 24 0 up. A great run from Dan Fleming. Sucking all the men in. The ball was shifted right. The overlap was there. And Woodburn Hall just had to make the right decision. He dummied. Went through the gap. And Keyes looking to turn this four into six. Has got his radar working after that last one. He looks happy with that one. It certainly is. 
The flags are up, the crowd are happy. And Joe Keys kicks his third goal of the afternoon to push the score out. With under a minute to go here in the first half. Halifax Panthers 26, Whitehaven nil. Sorry, that was Walker. Here's A. Bishop drops off Taboo. Well, put down well by Moran. And Doro, I think I've missed a six again here as Whitehaven seems to have a lot of tackles as they're going towards Halifax territory. It's a knock on and Keys is away. Joe Keys sprinting away. He's going, it looks to be going all the way, Joe Keys. But he hands it off to Walsley for his hat trick. Such unselfish play by Joe Keys. Hands it off to Lachlan Walsley and goes, here you are. Here's your hat trick against your former side. And that's Walmsley's 19th try of the season now. After two minutes of the second half. And he just can't stop scoring, Lachlan Walmsley. Joe Keyes could well have scored that himself, but really unselfishly handed it on to Walmsley for his hat trick. As Halifax punishing Whitehaven's mistakes there. Really making sure we score more points, but keeping the side to zero like we did against Bradford a couple of weeks back in the cup. As Keyes strikes it high, straight through the post, the flags are up. Keyes has got his kicking boots back on. As Halifax go 32 0 up here. Big opportunity for more points here for the Panthers. As Tangata at dummy half finds Woodburn all. How the back to Jufre. Jufre dummies, but Holiday is alive to the task. Puts him down five metres out from the line. Loads of tackles to play with here for Halifax. G spins it to Woodburn all. Goes wide to Keys. Keys brings on Fleming on the angle. Fleming looks to brush off the tackle. He's still going down Fleming. Good defence from Whitehaven. Good running from Fleming. Five yards out, centre field. The goal left. Here's Keyes, dribbles a kick through onto Kavanagh, and Kavanagh dives on the ball! And Ben Kavanagh, from that old keys kavanagh combination, scores his second try of the season. As Halifax, make a white even pay the price for poor discipline. And after less than 10 minutes, this second half, Halifax go even further ahead here. It's 36 0. Onto a 15 metre line. Here's Doro running diagonally across the field. With great pace there. Doro showing brilliant pace. Doro's away. Doro looking to make some good yards there. Tia tried to take the ball off him one on one, but he managed to hold on. Unorthodox run there. You wouldn't think he's a prop forward. Doro with that fleet of foot. Halifax making great yards here. Fairbank plays the ball to Wood, who finds Jufre. Out the back to Woodburn All. Onto McComb. Managed to get the ball out as well. Woodburn All steps inside, but steps into the tackle of Dion A. Another opportunity here for Halifax to score as Keyes runs across field, brings on Tangata on the angle. Last tackle here for Fax. 25 metres out as Keyes. Pulls it to the corner once more. Walmsley's wanting a fourth. Well taken there by David Eccleston. But it's a great defence, great chase from Halifax. And they force him. Trapped in goal for a goal line dropout. And that's really pleasing. 36 0 up, and they still got that appetite for defence. By Lansky. Here's Keyes running across field. Dummies and goes straight through the gap. Brilliant play by Keyes onto Doro and Doro streaking away. And after his running today, he deserves that try, does Arimi Doro. Celebrating a little bit early. Always a heart skipping moment when players do that. But he plants the ball down under the posts. As Doribi Doro gets his second try of the season. Blessed by the sun coming out here at the Shea. 
And he puts the score out. Halifax 40, Whitehaven nil. This routine conversion attempt, which he puts straight through the post. And with the flags up, that tells you that Joe Keyes has got his fifth goal of the game. Making the score, Halifax Panthers 42, Whitehaven nil. And Halifax are definitely going joint third. Now, Sheffield are winning comfortably at the moment. And they'll go second as Rourke goes deep. And Walmsley takes the ball out on the full. Fantastic play from the winger there. And Whitehaven compounding the misery here. His keys. This time passes to Jufre. On to G. G steps inside. The put down by Tabu. And Fats will start the set. 25 metres out. Wood. Shaped right and goes left with Keyes. Brings on Fairbank on the angle. It's put down by two Avon defenders just into their own 20 metre zone. Wood shapes left and goes right. On to Tangata. Out of the back to Jufre. Jufre brings on G on the angle. He's looked threatening all day, G. And on to Fairbank. And on to Keyes. Keyes steps inside. Keyes fancies a try, but he goes up to Fairbank. And Jacob Fairbank scores his first try of the season. He's off the nudie run. And Jacob Fairbank. And facts go back to back once more. And they are really cutting loose here. There's still over 20 minutes to go here. And Ifax. Oh, 46 nil up. That's Ifax's ninth try of the afternoon. His first try of the season, I should say, is Keys. Boots over another conversion attempt. His sixth goal of the game to push the score to Halifax Panthers 48, Whitehaven nil. A real statement made here by Halifax. Five metres shy of halfway. Here's Fairbank. Hands on to McComb. McComb, good yards after contact once more. Goes past the 40 metre line. Leads defenders on the floor. McComb. Great pass there from Wood. On to Tangata. Tangata turns round. One on the offload, but he's wrapped up well by the Haven defence. Gets a quick play of the ball as well. Wood sets left and right, then back left again. On to Keys. Keys grubs it through. Looking for the chase of Kavanagh. Well dealt with by David Eccleston. Great game management there from Keys. Now Ifax are really putting pressure. On Whitehaven now, as Tangata plays the ball, Wood finds Fairbank, Halifax left six tackles on this Whitehaven line, looking for even more points, looking to break the 50 point marker for the first time this season, Doro, dummies, going over and Aribi Doro scores his second try of the game, his third of the season. And with less than a quarter of an hour to go here, Halifax break the 50 point mark as they go 52 0 up. And they're going to double digits in terms of tries. 10 try of the afternoon, second for Doro. It's just a great performance. A brace for Doro and Woodburn all, a hat trick for Lackle and Walmsley. A blitz of points here for Halifax as Louis Jufre comes off the pitch. Hopefully it's just a rest now. But he comes back on and Brandon Moore replaces him. So it looked like Kyle Wood will go into the halves. Which he's played for most of his career. And speaking of halves, his halfback partner now, Joe Keyes, boots over that conversion. So it'll just get straight back up. But it's complained to the referee, I'm not too sure why. Here's Fleming back on, replacing Doro. He'll get the last 10 minutes of the game. Moore goes blind to Keys. Keys. Short ball to Kavanagh. Kavanagh straight through. And Kavanagh. Oh, he passed the ball. Why didn't he just go straight for the line? Surely he could have just gone straight for the corner. 
rather unselfishly looking for support, but sometimes in rugby league you just got to go for it. I think if he had his time again, Ben Cavanaugh, he would have gone straight for the corner. Here's the rap. Quite even throwing the ball about here. Good play, great offload here. As Newton kicks to the corner, looking for the run of Eccleston. And Lachlan Walms is safety first. Just kicks the ball dead. That's better play from Whitehaven, throwing the ball about a bit. Tangata finishes off up top. As Benny jumps out from Dummy Half, great offload. Whitehaven are over the line, but they held up. Great goal line defence there from Halifax, showing desperation to keep Whitehaven shut out today. They'll get to play the ball 10 metres out from the fax line. Here's Duran. Out of the back to Rock. And on to Walmsley. And yet again, an interception for Lachlan Walmsley. He's away. He's going to score his fifth try of the afternoon in the corner because Curtis Tier had a great chase there. And once more, Lachlan Walmsley plays the game. And Lachlan Walmsley intercepts. And Lachlan Walmsley scores. And he gets his fourth try of the game. Sorry, my maths are escaping me for the moment. And we're just over five minutes to go here. It's a foursome performance from Lachlan Wormsley. Just picking the ball out yet again, this time from the fullback, Josh Rock. And for the umpteenth time this season, Lachlan Wormsley. Scores a length of the field, interception try for the Panthers. This tricky conversion from out wide over that left hand side. Key strikes it well. And it's over the post. Fantastic touchline conversion there by Joe Keyes. His eighth goal of the afternoon. And that makes it Halifax Panthers 60. Whitehaven nil. Here's A, playing first receiver, spins out to Duran, Duran, long ball out to Tia, Tia knocks it on with the ball, with the line gaping. And that just says it all about the white in performance today. Fantastic ball from Duran. And all Tia had to do was just catch the ball and walk over, but he forgot about the first part. And white even still have that zero against the name. And by the look of things now, that's what will remain. But they've got a penalty here after all that. Didn't want to call outside Ifax. White Haven with one more chance to get over the line. Long ball out to Eccleston. Eccleston forced out there. Brilliant defence there from Ifax. That's fantastic to see. The effort in that defence was 60 nil up to stop him scoring. One last chance for Whitehaven to put some points on the board as Singleton dribbles the through and it's on to Keyes. Keyes streaking away off to Walsley. Can he get five? Lachlan Walsley steps inside the charge of Rogue. He's put down. He's still not on Lachlan Walsley. 14 seconds to go on Ifax with one last tackle here. James Thorntonstall screaming for the ball. It's going to be a penalty and a professional foul. 10 minutes in the bin, but the game's gone anyway. The hoot has gone. It's a win for Halifax. But will they just take the penalty goal? Or just have one more tackle to try and put some more points on the board? I think they're going to run it here. They're going to put on a move here, it looks like, is Singleton. The man that's been Sinbin, he'll take all the time in the world just to trudge off. Really, she just gone on his to the touchline nearest him. Finally breaks out into some sort of jog. Tangata taps the ball onto Keys. Keys runs across field, finds Wood. Wood out of back to Wood Burnall. Wood Burnall long ball out, hand fin from Whitehaven, taken by Tia. Sort and stall tackles him. 
And that is the end of a quite remarkable game here at the Shea. As I fast Panthers, for the first time this season, really put a team to the sword. 26 nil at half time. And they carried on that dominance in the second half. And with tries, four tries from Lachlan Wormsley, two tries apiece for James Woodburn Hall and Reba Doro, and tries from James Saltonstall, Ben Kavanagh, and Jacob Fairbank. With eight goals from Joe Keys, making the final score. Halifax Panthers 60, Whitehaven nil.